The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We're going to take a look at the German DAX like we always do. You can see here that we've made possibly a double top on this four-hour chart. Uh, you'll notice that the market is down very, very slightly today, which is uh, quiet for this type of a day, I guess. Um, there's a very strong probability of a market being down this week. It was work that uh, Larry Williams had done. You might want to check it out yourself. And that is be because of the uh, the bearishness that the last week in June has for the uh, stock index futures. You might want to look. In other words, go back and look at the last week in June, say over the last 100 years, and see whether, in fact, the, the market did have a slight bias. Uh, folks, let's take a look here at the FTSE. Uh, we'll be able to take a quick look at it here. It's, this is a very, very tight trading range here in the FTSE. It's really uh, ideal for a breakout type strategy. It could go either way, of course. And uh, we were, you know, flirting with that 78% level. We're still just a tad under it. So not too much is uh, is happening there. Oh, I have, to, I have to tell you something funny that happened, folks. My favorite part, while there's my, I love the, the movie Trading Places, as you all know, but one of my favorite parts is when he's on this skateboard pretending that he doesn't have any legs. He's at Rittenhouse Square there in Philadelphia, and the two policemen, you know, they grab him, and he says, oh, my gosh, it's a miracle. It's a miracle. I've got legs. I've got legs. It was, it's always, I always like that part. Now, also, when he was up in the, the ninth floor in cell number three, I thought that was uh, another one. But there's so many good parts. And uh, But it, anyway, I'm on a, I'm on a plane. And I know you young guys, when you go through an airport, you'll always see this one or two hotties that are out there, these high-maintenance girls that are absolutely gorgeous, you know, definitely number 10s. And uh, there was one at the airport, and uh, she had one of these little uh, white and yellow uh, dresses, summer dresses on, and she was wearing one of these little straw hats from, uh, like, a Michael Jackson wore. So she was uh, definitely there to play the game. Anyway, I'm sitting there on the aisle seat like I always do, and there's a guy in, on the window seat. She starts coming down the aisle, and the guy says to me, he says, boy, it would be nice to have her sit next to us. And I said, dude, I said, I'm not that lucky. We come up, and she stands right in front of me, and she says, sir, she says, this is my seat in the middle there. And I said, well, I'm sorry. I said, I, I'm, I'm handicapped. I said, I have paralyzed legs. I said, you're going to have to curl over me. She says, well, that's kind of awkward. And I said, tell me about it. And she looks about 10 or 15, maybe 10 seconds, and she says, well, well, okay, here goes. Behave yourself. And I said, wait, wait. Oh, it's a miracle. It's a miracle. I've got legs. I've got legs. And I stood up, and folks, the people there started laughing so hard, I couldn't believe it. I I was just doing it off the cuff. And she started laughing so hard. She says, you know, I get hit on so much. And she said, that's got to be one of the best lines that uh, that I've ever that I've ever heard. And I said, Honey, I said that's not even my A game. Anyway, it was uh, it was rather funny. So she sits down next to me and she says, "I've got a question." And I said, "What's that?" She says, "Why didn't you uh, why didn't you let me crawl over? Why did you give up?" And I said, "Why didn't you ask me to move over to the middle seat?" Anyway, that's what happened. It was uh, it was quite uh, quite amazing. I had to go to uh, Los Angeles. Uh, one of our very very dear friends uh, from the old Drexel days, one of our customers, uh, he had passed away, and his family asked me to come to the services and it was at the Beverly Hills uh, Country Club and I uh, I couldn't resist so I went over there and uh, went over there <laughs> and anyway I'm still there I'm on be I'll be heading back this morning but just a really wonderful time you know folks I I went to this and there's all a lot of young people that I knew when they were little tiny babies that didn't know who me from Adam but I wore a blue blazer and my uh, usual polo shirt and uh, everybody there was retired. Uh, I was the only one working, and I and I thought about that for a little bit. And I had two of my old colleagues come up and tell me, says how lucky I was to still be working because retirement sucked. 
Uh, any, I don't know what that means, but anyway, let's just bear with this and go on to the next one here. All right, let's move on to uh, uh, something I want to show you. This is going to be a pop quiz now, guys, so bear with me. We're going we're gonna to travel back to the old days to just a little bit here. I'm going to post something in here and see if you guys have any idea what this is. Now, this goes back 30 years ago. You see this big, big auditorium there? What do you think that's getting ready for? Well, you'll never guess, folks. This was built by uh, Timmy, one of my one of my students from many many years ago. This is the trading floor for UBS. This is their trading. It doesn't exist anymore, of course, but you'll see here that uh, this was all all trading. It, it was it was in segments, of course, but uh, one of the bigger segments uh, 30 years ago was the beginning of the forex contracts, and that's what it is that held that held over 500 traders, folks, uh, from, and they did work around the world. Yeah, it looked like bingo night. You're right, Maria. <laughs> But uh, that that I think it's probably a cannabis factory now is the way that it that's the ways that it goes. I wanted to share with you a really great chart that Mr. Z sent to us uh, over the weekend. Uh, he sends us out some really great stuff, but this is really cool, and I want to bring it to your attention because it really means something uh, from a technical standpoint. As you can see here, this is the uh, the last 50 years of the stock market, going through Eisenhower, Kennedy, Johnson, and Nixon, and of course it ends in 1965, 69. But what the important thing is is look at all of the things that happened here uh, that were you know just uh, amazing. Look at the Cuban mis missile crisis back in 1962, uh, the Bay of Pigs when it that thing. And uh, basically, what this is telling you is the market really follows the news, and it just does it its own thing. It doesn't make any difference. And look, we're seeing that right now. I mean, we've got all kinds of things that are going wrong. Iran, you know, doing this and tariffs doing that. And yet the market keeps charging higher. And that's the same thing that happened here. The key to part about this is, is look at the double top that we had in 1966 and 1968. That double top lasted for just about three and a half years, folks. And the market went all the way down to the uh, lows down there around 450, 500 again. So uh, just keep in mind that it's not always uh, the news that makes these things. Now they'll have gyrations through here, but it don't, only won't be that. Uh, it won't be that much. Yeah, thank Mr. Z for that one. That's a that's a real beauty. I put that one in the file. No one's going to get that one uh, out of my hands anymore because that just really it shows nice patterns, but it also shows the fact that you know we're looking at something that is really uh, uh, really quite uh, quite amazing. So and he always sends us amazing stuff. I want to take a quick look here uh, on the. Uh, the Bitcoin folks, because uh, we've had Bitcoin really smoking this morning. Let me get this up here so that you can look at it. We've said this was not a bubble a long time ago. Uh, that low that we had down there at around that 3,300 3, level, that was the giant ABCD pattern stretching way back to when it was 19,050 in January uh, when we went uh, live with futures. And now we're trading above 11,300 this morning, folks. The 61% uh, retracement on this comes in at around 13,000. But you'll notice that uh, these, MUCA, these markets are starting to accelerate rapidly here. So that's going to be something that uh, is going to be real interesting to see here. <clears throat> Okay, I'll try to take care of that, Russ, after the show, buddy. But I, uh, Russ, drop me an email, will you, so I can just post it in. I, I don't, I can't do it during the show. I'm, I'm not, I can't multitask anymore, Russ. But uh, right this break, I'll send it out to. If you just drop me an email, Larry Pesavano at gmail dot com, I'll send it out to you without any trouble, and uh, we'll take care of that. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. 
The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the Taz Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at Taz has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the Taz Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the Taz Order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the Taz Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Taz Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I'm going to post a chart here of the euro over the last six months. This is a four-hour chart, which gives you a really good uh, picture of what's happening. We have a very uh, distinct ABCD structure forming. And as you can see here up at this uh, 1.14200, that uh, we, we are going to complete that swing. Um, the 78% level comes in at 114.70. Uh, so somewhere in that area, I would expect the uh, euro to have a, a pretty significant correction. This is uh, the first really major ABCD correction from the bear side that's happened since January. Hold on, folks. Someone is uh, giving me the uh, asking me a lot of uh, a lot of stuff here. Anyway, let's uh, let's move on here to try to talk about this euro. The key to part of this euro that I'd like to look at is the uh, the fact that down at that bottom, if you remember that 111.15 area, that was the long term, you know, 618 level, and we didn't go below that. You know, we got as low as uh, I think we did. We didn't break one. 111 I don't believe if we did it was only no we did not and uh, so it's a uh, it's a really really strong chart here and and we should get this rally because this is uh, you know it started uh, around the end of June so it's rallied up almost a full month uh, as of the end of this week so uh, keep an eye on this it's going to be interesting this will be the tail of the dollar folks uh, as the dollar gets up to this level or down to this level we'll be looking at the euro looking at that same thing if we reverse the process and look at what the what the U.S. dollar is doing. You'll be able to see the same thing. It's basically a mirror image because the the uh, euro is 53% of that index. And you'll notice that uh, down around that uh, 9510 level, we're going to run into some pretty strong ABCD patterns, and also at the 61% retracement. So those are interesting to see. Now I have, you know, we, we're still talking about uh, the the uh, 
uh, negative interest rates. And this morning, the, there's two more countries in the European Union that are now going to negative interest rates. They put out uh, another trillion dollars in debt and paper. And uh, I, you know, I, I know that looks really interesting, but uh, that just, uh, in fact, I can't find anyone. They can give me a logical explanation for the thing, and don't don't try the don't try the the thing about the uh, uh, inflation stuff. That doesn't that doesn't work with me. So I'll just have to uh, wait and see. Anyway, let's keep in mind that uh, these are some of the things that we're we're thinking about as we go through these these different markets. Uh, that's uh, the main thing. The, the open interest situation, very interesting. I, I thought I'd bring this up to your attention because the only time I really follow open interest is when there's a, a big move, either a breakout or if there is a uh, move in the uh, uh, new lows or new highs. Those are the times I want to you know, to see what's happening with uh, open interest. And we have an interesting pattern in the Dow Jones and the S&P and the NASDAQ because we would had dropping open interest here for the last several days as the market went into new high ground. And then in on, on Friday with the market in new high ground at the S&P when we cleared the uh, 29, uh, 27, yeah, 29, uh, 69 area, uh, then that would uh, that was also a new high, but that then the market rolled over, and so the open interest increased on Friday. Which open interest increasing, you know, with prices going down, which they were, they weren't down much. They were down just a little bit, but that that is not a good sign. Uh, and also, if we the, the you want to see a good sign is to look at the open interest in the gold. The gold has had this monster move. Let's just. Uh, Bring this to your attention. I'll bring the gold bug index up here so you can see just the power that's in this gold market. And, of course, silver is not uh, going along with it. But uh, you're going to trade silver, trade silver. You're going to trade gold, trade gold. But you can see here the gold line exploding above that uh, 1365 level. We, we, we said that was a pretty significant area, and it certainly has been. Uh, we hit a high of 1416 on Friday. We sold off about $17. And uh, one half of the harmonic number didn't go any lower than that. And we've been chopping around all morning. Silver, you know, trading below the six, uh, the seven, the sixty-one percent retracement, which is at at fifteen uh, fifty. I believe it's around fifteen thirty-two or something right now. So all of that is telling you that there is a. Uh, a big difference going on and silver as it moved above 1550 the open interest was dropping so you got prices going up and open interest dropping that's short covering so there's no new buying coming into the silver market now remember the silver market is very very small compared to the gold you know it's about one sixth of the open interest and platinum is you know very 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 small so that's uh that's something that you might want to uh, keep in mind by the way folks I, many of you folks don't follow open interest but in stock index futures the s p is the big daddy rabbit it's like uh, three and a half million open interest you won't believe what the next one is. It's not the Dow Jones and it's not the NASDAQ. It's the Russell. The Russell is the second biggest. After that, it's the NASDAQ. And the third biggest, of course, is the Dow Jones Industrial Average. So, And that's probably the way that it should be because the Dow Jones Industrial Average is only 30 stocks. And they're price-weighted. They're not cap-weighted. So those are just some of the things that uh, you want to keep in mind when you're doing that. You can find that data. Very, very simple. It's av available to you after midnight, uh, any any Monday through Friday at the CME. You would go to www.cme, Chicago Mercantile Exchange, and you'll go into section that says data. You click on open interest, pick what you like, whether it's agriculture or whatever you want to look at, and it'll show you what the open interest is doing in all these different things. Fortunately, the Board of Trade was bought out by the Merck many years ago, and so all that stuff is on one site, and you don't have to, don't have to worry about it. So uh, keep in mind, that's something that uh, is, I think, very, very important. Uh, uh, the uh, Terry, the open interest in, in oil is, it could be, I, I didn't check the oil from, uh, yesterday but you don't get your open interest figures for the day until midnight of that day that's when they're posted into the uh 
posted into the thing. And that's why, folks, when you're dealing with, with futures like this, you have to have a buyer and seller. When you're doing when you're doing foreign exchange trading, about 99% of all the trades that you do when you're dealing with a Forex bank are booked by the bank. In other words, they're going to take the other side of the trade. And the reason why is yeah, they, have a, they have someone long the euro, they have someone short the euro, and they're making money. If you remember in trading places, when uh, uh, Ralph Bellamy was explaining to uh, 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 Billy Ray Valentine about what business they were in, he said, now some of our customers are long, and he said, some of our customers are short. But here's the good part. He said, no matter what happens, we make money. And Billy Ray said, oh, you guys are a bunch of bookies. And that's exactly what they do with foreign exchange trading. It, they are bookies. They're taking the other side. They, they have risk control managers on call at all time on those Forex Bank because they they expose themselves to risk at certain times, so they're watching it very very closely. And they do have traders that they take the business, but they lay it off to somebody else. They'll take a half a half a pip loss or t re reduce their, their profit by half a pip just to do it. So that's a, a key thing to. Uh, to remember when you're when you're looking at some of these this morning. Wow, we're coming up to the first break. By the way, folks, we're going to have Norm Winsky as our guest here on Thursday. 877-927-6648. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com.
This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. And um, if you have any questions, it's 877 927 6648. I'll try to answer them if I can. Uh, we'll look at the next market, is that silver market. Someone's asked a question about it, and I will show you. Uh, it's a beautiful pattern in silver from the very uh, side of it. You'll notice that uh, we've had a uh, really nice ABCD structure come up there at that 1550 level. The high was 1556. We're trading a little lower than that right now, acting totally different than the gold market, but it's been doing that all along. So if you're going to trade gold, trade gold. If you're going to trade silver, trade silver. If you're going to trade platinum, trade platinum. I still believe that we've got a chance to get down below that uh, 800 level in platinum one more time, and that's going to be a real interesting one to look at down there if we get down to that 7 83 per ounce in the, the platinum. It's hard to believe you've got platinum at 783 and gold at 1400, twice the price of platinum. Folks, it used to be just the opposite. Back in 2011, that's the way it was, but you know, the, that's not the way it is right now. So uh, keep in mind that uh, things change. And uh, you just think about what happened to Eastman Kodak. Look, look what you can do now with pictures with these telephones. I mean, no wonder they don't exist anymore is because the fact that uh, no one uses film. I mean, that, that's a whole industry that disappeared. And there's going to be others disappearing, too. So that's a, that's a main thing, you know, to keep in mind. I would like to share uh, uh, one of the charts with you folks that I thought was uh, relatively important. Uh, we got this from one of our friends from the uh, the den that sends me the, some really interesting charts from the Elliott Wave Theorist. But if we take a look here uh, at what they were showing here uh, on the uh, uh, the bearish, they're, what they're looking for what they call a bearish non-confirmation. You notice that we made three higher highs up here in that S&P. Uh, that could or could not be a triple top. But the most important thing is if you'll look at the uh, the weakness in the S&P small cap, which would be similar to the, the uh, IWM or the Russell 2000, a tremendous amount of resistance here. As we make that 61% retracement here on Friday in the small cap, we made a new high in the S&P. Now, whether that means anything or not, we don't know, but that is a type of divergence or non-confirmation that, uh, you know, should mean something because it's telling you where money is moving. We've seen this over and over again, and one of the reasons uh, why we were so bearish in, uh, you know, late uh, October and stuff where the market went into that low on uh, December 26th was because of the way that the banking index was acting. And if you just take a quick look here, at this banking index, you're going to see here, uh, we'll just put this up here. Oh, you know, the, uh, the, the, the blue line is the Dow Jones Industrial Average. And as you can see, uh, it is making either possible double or triple top. We don't know if that's the case or not. But look at the look at the divergence in the banking index. And this is money, folks. This is where these guys, <laughs> they're, they're, this is how they, uh, I'm not going to say that. This is how they make their money. And uh, so keep in mind that that's, uh, uh, there's a divergence here. Whether that means anything or not, it could be part of the non-confirmation process. We don't know, but we'll have to look at it. That's the key is to whether these are going to turn or whether they're going to hold up at these levels. I, I don't know, but the good part of it is, boys and girls, nobody else does either. That's the key level that we want to look at. Okay, big question. Oh, I had three people ask about it. I'll try to cover it to my best of my ability, and that is the uh, the gold. Let's just get this up here. We're going to do the weekly gold chart here, folks. All right, let's get this up here. Okay, you made the bottom that we made back in 2015 in December. That was a big one. And not only that, but it paid us off really big time because at uh, 10.53, per ounce. Uh, we were making a perfect three drive to a bottom. The symmetry there between A, B, C, D was just absolutely perfect. This is a weekly chart too, folks. So, you know, it was a lot of things moving on here. We had a big move up, a pullback to the 78% level, a nice run up, another pullback to the 78% level. And now we've, we're completing potentially the A, B, C, D level. You notice that we've blown out all the highs from 2014, above 1400. But what we need to watch here is if you'll look very closely at this chart, 
you'll see two dark black lines, one in 2017 and one in 2018 and 19. Those black lines are equal moves. They're $140 per ounce. In the first move, $140 per ounce in the second move, okay? Now, here's where it gets interesting. If you take the low in December of 2016 to the high that we made in August, September of 2017, and you do the rate of change, in other words, how did the market get there? In other words, you'll notice that the slope of the line on both of these are correct. That's because the AB swing is 140 dollars per ounce in each swing and the time between the lows and the highs is nearly equal it misses it by about six days maybe you know i don't know where it's going to go but i do believe that we're going to have some type of resistance up here in the gold should we get to uh, if we break above 1416 the most logical area for it to stop would be that 1.27 at 1425 and the reason why I bring that to your attention is, is because we're seeing such a divergence in some of these other metals like platinum and silver. They're not following along. And the open interest in silver is dropping. There are no players coming into the silver market. They really aren't. So they are in the gold market. They've got, they got big-time players coming into that gold market. Just look at – if the open interest was dropping or laying flat up in here, I would flat out be short gold. But uh, with that big open interest like that, I have to uh, stand aside and see uh, – to see what uh, see if, whether that's going to uh, rectify itself, but we've had really nice increases in the open interest in the gold every day, so those are some of the ones that we're paying, uh, paying very close attention. To. Since we're on the subject of the gold, I think we should add this other. Uh, it's an interesting chart that we get from. Uh, oh, it's not going to be easy to pull up. Yeah, we can do it. This is from the Elliott Wave theorist also, but what it's doing here is it's showing that. Uh, the uh, the people are they're very very bullish. You can see the cinnamon index as uh, as high as it's been since 2018, as it should be, because once we cleared that 1370 level, you know that that was really a very bullish uh, a very bullish sign, and we did it with a lot of gusto, and then we tried to test it, which it just missed, which is another strong sign, and here we are trading around 1410 as we look at this uh, thing here this morning. So. That, that's pretty much uh, what we're looking. Oh, by the way, as a human interest story, I will be doing a, a live seminar in London during the uh, second week of September. I believe it's going to be 13th, 14th, and 15th. We do that at the London College of Physicians. They've got a wonderful setup there for our meeting, and uh, I think we're going to have about 100 people, it looks like. I'm going to be doing it with Tom Hugard and Dr. David Paul. Uh, who's another really excellent technician, one of the very best. Tom happens to be one of the purest traders I've met in a very, very long time. And uh, so we're going to be doing some of that together, so it'll be pretty interesting. Um, uh, I, I know Ruby is uh, posting about the fundamentals going on in the gold, but, but you know, I, I really have a hard time with the fundamentals because sometimes it's uh, – fake fundamentals, but uh, the only thing I really count on, folks, is I look at that bar chart. If prices are going up, there's more buyers. Prices are going down, more sellers. That's pretty much uh, what, we're, what we're watching here. Uh, we'll take a little break here. 877-927-6648. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. 
That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, next on TFNN. Okay, folks, we're back, and Mr. Z is asking whether I see any short-term patterns that uh, suggest a tradable top. Well, Mr. Z, I will post the S&P for you here. And as you can see here, we'll put it up here. We'll just take a quick look at this. You'll see here is the uh, double top. It also could also be a triple top because we were at the same level back here in uh, 2017. But you'll notice, uh, excuse me, 2000, yeah, triple top possibly up here. That's uh, what I'm looking at. We did make a higher high, didn't do much. But if you're interested in patterns, you know, and but, hey, folks, uh, uh, I don't know, it, Mike. I don't know if buying gold is a counter to sanctions. I, I that's beyond my pay grade to uh, to, to understand that. But here, you want to see a pattern that's interesting. If you like patterns, I'll bring this up here and take a quick look at it. Um, here is the ah uh, oh dear. Just a second here. People are asking me things at once, and I can't always ask. So, uh, okay, here we go. Uh, one hour and 30 minutes, it's still bearish. Here's the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Uh, we have a one, two, three, four, five expanding triangle, also known as a reverse point wave, also known as a T6 triangle six pattern in Gartley's book. Uh, you'll notice that uh, along with that, you have a double top. You also have a triple top with perfect symmetry, folks. Here we have uh, some words of Jim Twentyman, who's here with me in California. He was at the services last night. But if you'll look at the triple top here, the high in January, the high in September, and the high where we are now, just, just do some time stuff just to check it out, see if it works. So you have all that coming in. You also have a three drive to a top pattern. That 135 is also part of a three drive pattern so that's what it's doing might not work but this is what you're looking at here i don't know you have non-confirmation of course in the nasdaq it didn't make new highs at all and you have really massive confirmation uh, on the negative side for the banking index also in the iwm we have much lower highs here if we look at this in the iwm you'll be able to put this up and take a quick look at it here you'll be able to see uh, what you're looking at uh, at this level 
right here. Okay, now I hope that answers your question, but uh, you know, that's neither here nor there. That's what we're watching. There is one other. Actually, there's two others. We might as well talk about these today because you are very nice people and we might as well share this with you. Here is the Dow Jones Transportation. This is how they move the goods. We have here, as you can see, a head and shoulders pattern. You can see the strong resistance that we had at 10,000. 675. We're now trading at 10,350 and change. Uh, it is a, a perfect head and shoulders pattern from the high of your left shoulder to your head to your right shoulder. That time is equal. Uh, it's coming in at a 50% retracement of the high and also just a tad above the 78% level. And then it reversed. So unless the, the, the transportations are up about 250, 300 today, this is a relatively bearish pattern. But, you know, it's still early and that could change. But that, these are just patterns, folks. Remember, nothing to do with fundamentals at all. I mean, Zippo. They, I mean, I don't. When you post stuff in there about the Russian buying gold, that means as much to me as uh, you know whether it's going to snow in uh, Tucson today. With uh, I, I just got the weather report over there, and it's going to be about 102. So it's uh, the chances of it snowing in Tucson today is going to be uh, a little bit tough to happen. But this, these things fail all the time, as we've seen, and that's what you want to keep an eye on. You know, those of you that trade the, the livestock markets, folks, there is one trade that looks really interesting, and I don't know if it's going to work or not, but I will share it with you because I won't be doing it, but uh, be, mainly because i got too much on my plate here uh, doing it other things. But, uh-oh, uh uh-oh, uh we got trouble in River City? No, we don't. We just had the wrong file. Let's get this chart up here for the uh, for the Christmas cattle. Let's just get this up here since you're looking at patterns. Now, cattle, there you go. Wow. Hey, whoa, there you go. Yeah, cattle, that's exactly right. Here's the Christmas cattle. I don't know where they're trading right now, but they should hold that 108 level. The reason why I bring this to your attention is because we have pretty good divergence here, the August cattle. The August cattle has gone down and made another drive, which makes the three drive pattern in the August, but the December is the strongest. So, you know, you're supposed to buy the strongest, sell the weakness, but keep an eye on that cattle. That could be a real interesting one to see if it's going to uh, make a big turn here or not. It's still a little bit early, but uh, that's what we're watching. Well, I'm not getting any help from any of our friends here in the den, but if you have any calls, 877-927-6648. I'll be happy to answer any questions regarding the grain markets. They still look extremely bullish. Uh, what we're looking for is we, the, we got the Christmas corn trading about uh, 20 cents under its high, which we'd like to see a, a potential move here in the corn, possibly to get it down. Uh, Marshall's asking about the bonds. All I can tell you, Mark Marshall, is think lower. I believe that Treasury bonds and Treasury notes are going to be going lower. Uh, I'll do the uh, – thank you for that, Marshall. That will give me time to get this filled up here so we can take a look at it. Here is uh, – I, Tucker, I, I'll do natural gas too, but I, I like natural gas. I bought natural gas Friday, and I, I believe it's got a chance to uh, – as long as it can stay above 215. I'll post that chart after I finish with the uh, bonds and notes, uh, Tucker. But we got Marshall in here. He's basically a family member. You can see the, the weekly chart on the notes. We made that 61% retracement. Folks, this is open interest situation, and this tells you this market wants to go down. There are no buyers up here. Open interest is dropping. Very, very negative. It might not work this time, but that's what it's doing. I mean, that, that's that's exactly what's happened. There's no players in here. In fact, the players are coming in on the short side. If we take a look at the bondolis, here you are looking at this. Uh, yeah, I'd like to be a buyer of crude oil. You betcha. Look at that crude oil. Man, it was from the 61% retracement, it's moved six dollars a barrel in two weeks. That's that's a very bullish, that's a very bullish one. Look at the bonds here, the weekly folks. We made a 50% retracement. We did not uh, uh, you know look at look at the shooting star candle that we had on Friday. And this is with uh, open interest increasing on that day. In other words, that's the only time the bond open interest increased during the past week is when on a down day. That's new selling, folks. This is not good from the bond market. But, you know, if they're going to zero, they're going to have to turn and go up pretty soon. But right now, I think we're in a correction. That's all I can say. Shorter term, longer term, once these guys uh, 
decide what they're going to do with these interest rates, we'll be able to look at. Yes, the Russell should turn red because it's the weakest. I mentioned that. Uh, we put out a red alert to go short these stock indices. Uh, last night on rally. Anyway, let's just take a look at one other thing uh, that uh, may be of interest uh, to everyone, and that is the, uh, hold on one second. <laughs> Very good, Maria. I like your train of thought, dear. I like your train of thought. Uh, I wanted to bring to your attention one other one, and if I could only find it, I will bring it up. Uh, shut the, oh, I know where it is. Here is the volatility index. This is interesting, folks, because here, you have the market is really strong two days, uh, Thursday and Friday, and look at the VIX. Someone was taking protection in there, folks. That's highly unusual. But whether that means anything or not remains to be seen. Pretty soon, we're going to have to pay a few bills for our friends here at TFNN. And uh, also, oh, great, great. When, uh, people over there, when we had the service, had several people come up to say they still list, they listen to my show. These are people I haven't seen in 35 or 40 years. So that, that really, uh, really made me feel good. Anyway, we're going to take a break. 877-927-6648. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 six and three months timer digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well the fact is markets can be timed and i'll teach you the exact set of tools that i use that has transformed me into one of the best at what i do sign up for mastering probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where i take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. sign up today if you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, we're back, folks. I've been asked to oh to do natural gas for our good friend. Uh, hold on just a second here, uh, Terry. I, I can't remember who asked. It's about the. Let's look at this natural. Oh, shut the front door and raise the rent. Give me a second time. This is it, those. Wow. Oh no! Don't do this to me, please. Oh, dear. Why is it doing? There we go. I think we're okay now. Here we go. Let's get this up here. This is natural gas. And uh, this is, uh, hold on a second. We'll get this up here and take a look at it here. You'll be able to see that we're down at this 78% level. We have a nice three drive pattern there at 215. It's held it. I bought it at 219. My stop is at 214. Uh, and that's it. So but this market is extremely uh, oversold now because we made that 61% retracement up there at 4.8 that was brought to our attention by our good friend, Mr. Z, who put the hammer on that one. But we should get a bounce here. This is a pretty good uh, thing. It's almost a triple bottom, too, folks. Uh, but uh, we'll see. It needs to hold 215 in the natural gas. Otherwise, it will most probably be uh, – it'll probably be a little bit more uh, difficult to uh, stay long if it doesn't stay above 215. So keep in mind that we have some uh, very interesting uh, things happening this week with the uh, big crop report due, uh, the Chinese tariffs due, and I think that's all uh, all factored into the market no matter what. But we'll see one thing at a time as we look at these things. The important thing today – is to live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. And folks, do something nice for someone that uh, has uh, a lot less uh, than you are. Believe it or not, you know, uh, here California is the land of uh, milk and honey, and boy, you should see all the homeless people. Something's not right. <laughs> I mean, it's really, uh, really, really tough. So just remind yourself that uh, it's not always uh, – uh, you got to live in somebody else's shoes one time because there but for the grace of God go I. That's what my old man used to tell me. Anyway, let's uh, catch you on the flip-flop tomorrow. Remember, we've got the wizard who calls it to the minute Winsky coming in on the 27th, 877-927-6648.